Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let us introduce ourselves. My name is Sofia Aisyah and my partner Titan Junardi. In this presentation, we will discuss about how to identify subject and verb in a sentence. As we know, in the twofold test, we often have to identify the right structure, and one of them is subject and verb. As you know, the right sentence have two ingredients, subject and verb. And now in this video, we are going to explain about the subject and verb. Okay, for the first discussion is subject. What is the subject? Subject is the things that doing the action. So for the example, blah 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 was ringing continuously for hours a loudly b in the morning c the pond d the bells in this example you should notice immediately that there is a verb was ringing but there is no subject so answer c is the best answer because it is a singular subject that agrees with the singular verb was ringing. Answer A, loudly, and B, in the morning, are not subject, so they are not correct. Although answer D, bells, could be a subject, it is not correct because bell is plural and it doesn't agree with the singular verb was ringing and i'm going to explain what is verb so the verb is the action of the sentence to be more clear i will give you an example this is the example newspapers blah 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 every morning and every evening what is the missing in the sentence? First, we have to know who is giving the action in this sentence. Look, I mean, I think the newspaper giving the action for this sentence. So, it means the newspaper is the subject. And we already have the subject is newspaper. And then we have to identify the verb. Which one is the verb? A. Delivery. B. Are delivered. C. On time. D. Regularly. I think the right answer is B. Are delivered. So the right answer for this question is B. Are delivered. Uh, it is clear enough. So, thanks for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.